What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, hanging out here in the garage, um, messing around with some tackle. Um, got something new here. Um, not too long ago I mentioned I got a new spinning reel, a Daiwa Fuego, and I hadn't picked out a spinning rod to go with it yet. So I had uh, you guys drop me some suggestions and I did some research. Uh, you know, looked around at a couple different ones and I finally settled on the Dobbins Fury series. And I ended up getting a uh, seven foot medium fast action rod. Um, there's the uh, a few of the little specs on there. Give you a few uh, lures you can throw with it there. Um, so I chose this rod for uh, a couple of reasons. Um, been hearing a lot about Dobbins. Uh, this is the first Dobbins rod that I've ever owned. Um, had a lot of friends and uh, a lot of people on YouTube um, uh, talk about uh, these rods. Um, the uh, Tactical Bassin uh, YouTube channel is a really good one, and they'll occasionally do videos where they talk about uh, some different uh, rods and reels that they like, and they mention this rod. Um, and so, you know, I finally, after hearing everybody talk about it, I figured, you know, I'm going to check one out. Um, looks pretty cool. Kind of like the green with it. That's neat. With the red, it kind of has this kind of Christmas uh, feel to it with the green and red. Um, feels nice. You know, I really like it. I like the, uh, the split grip there. And I just like the way, um, you know, the, the cork and everything. It's just, you know, just nice feeling uh, set up. Balance as well. Um, uh, really good with this uh, reel on it. Um, I've got some kind of lighter braid, not super light braid, but um, this is 20-pound braid that I have spooled up on here. Usually um, when I'm going real light on a spinning reel, I'll go like 10-pound braid or 15-pound braid and then tie like a fluorocarbon leader. Um, went just a tad bit heavier. Um, this is a medium action rod. I, I thought about getting the medium white, but I decided I did want it just a little bit heavier uh, than the medium white. Give me uh, the freedom to throw, um, you know, a few other things, kind of like mentioned on there. You know, you can throw some Cinco's, some shaky heads. Um, I've got a little um, Lucky Craft jerk bait on here. Um, I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to do another video and talk about some newer lures. That's one of them. That's a new jerk bait that has kind of a sinking action that you kind of count it down. Um, and it's pretty neat, but I'm going to do another video for that. Um, but yeah, this rod is, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, I haven't got to fish with it, with it a lot yet. You know, just kind of went, there's a little pond right behind where I live and I just kind of cast it around out there. That's about all I've done with it. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it looks to be quality. I like the guides on it. Um, Definitely a lightweight, um, you know, it's not like a tree trunk or anything, which most spinning rods aren't. Um, you know, just a, a nice setup. Um, so if you're interested in checking out a Dobbins Fury series, um, or, you know, you're just, you know, considering getting a new spinning combo, um, I would uh, recommend uh, checking this one out. Um, you can find these things at a lot of places. You don't necessarily have to just order it online. There's a... Um, there's a Field and Stream store uh, not far from me. They had a few Dobbins rods in there, actually. Uh, so pretty cool. Same thing for the Daiwa Fuego. Um, and uh, this stuff here is um, it's very affordable, this whole combo is, really. You know, you're looking at a, you know, about 100 bucks or a little bit over 100 bucks for the reel and same for the rod. So um, you're not breaking the bank to get into uh, this combo here. Um, which is nice because I'm going to be fishing from the kayak a lot with this this year. I don't want like a super expensive combo and accidentally drop in the water, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep this video kind of short because I'm not on the water catching stuff with it. I'm just kind of talking about it in my garage. So um, if you guys are interested, definitely check this out. I'm just going to kind of let you get a look at it. Definitely pretty cool. Um, so you guys take it easy. Go catch some fish. I'm going to do another video uh, talking about lures and stuff, and I'll do the first Kayak Chronicles video soon. So we'll have some more stuff out here. It won't just be me in a garage talking about random stuff. Um, but thanks for checking out the video, guys. Um, go catch some fish, and uh, we'll talk to you later.